Mm. Good morning, LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Samuel, you put me everywhere, my friend. What an amazing marketing coach is that man, Samuel Ball in San Francisco. I salute you, my friend. And today, I would like to, to pause a little bit and talk about business agility. How is business agility will be the driving force of a new management as we are going to move forward into this acceleration of transform action okay um, there will be three key things that coming up in the next two three years actually uh, the, the, the the kind of a planning that will adjust itself as we're going along will be from now to 2023 something like this so you're gonna have now leadership that will be coming more conscious of being agile into this mindset of being lean not just to accelerate their time to market or squeezing their uh, production people because that's the thing after 20 so some years of lean thinking and the agile manifesto that was for software development now we are moving onward into uh, the it's not even a scaling it's it's everybody should be agile like the puma okay like the the like the, the jaguar uh, the lion the yen okay there's no time now to to sit on your arse and do nothing you have to deliver shit you have to make things happen you have to do it consciously you have to do it with putting people first over everything else because technology could overcome us so that's why the human factor the human interaction will be more and more important into those trends form action you hear me trends for action so the three element that will probably accelerate after it is VUCA on steroid that we experience it right now whatever you believe I couldn't care less of your opinion of sheep as a lion as a lion son I'm just putting you information take it or leave it but again only the agile will survive in the next three years so the first thing that's coming a lot of people call it the fourth industrial revolution uh, with all these AI all these technological advances, all the data stuff is, and so on and so on but I think the core thing right now will be the digital identity the digital sovereignty creating ourselves a digital twin in a decentralized way using the blockchain experience from the cryptocurrency for every data that concerns us it should be portable it should be um, we should have the ownership in a self-managed and self-organized way so that will be the key importance so if any goofy out there try to do project instead of product development you're gonna fail if any goofy out there would like to just do a e-commerce type of data management transformation you're gonna fail it's really important that you don't let big corporation or big government doing the digital transformation that include the digital identity we should aim for decentralized blockchain mindset of a p2p type of transaction and also gathering of our data that could be portable and being portable meaning that whether you are right now with Android or iOS for example for instance you should be able to switch without any hassle so that's the one thing this fourth industrial revolution that will make a turn right now to this identity and the sovereignty of our data our ownership our privacy uh, our privacy and to that transparency that will be very important and this bring us to the web 3.1 I, I prefer to call it 3.1 because 3.0 it's been there for the last three four years and as we are going and moving faster uh, it's already at 3.1 so 3.1 is actually taking this from the fourth industrial revolution of AI automation and the data the sovereign data the sovereign digital identity it's moving upward this web into a whole new it's it's more than the internet of things uh, that you all guys buzzing about it so again any transformation for transactional and the way 
the web will be built with AR, okay, augmented reality or what have you, will be a connection to what I just talked before on the digital transformation. And the third thing is acknowledging a real self-managed society on both capitalist business side and also the individual and collective community side. And for me, as a kind of student of Steve Denning with his book and his writing about that business agility is the future of management, he wrote it about like five, seven years ago, so I think the future is now. And uh, safe or the safer won't get you there. There's a B. Instead of a cat down the road, there's a B that want to grab of my coffee and my neck. Okay, so authentically. Yeah, so <clears throat> we are not in the, f it's not the future anymore. So I'll probably update my website on my page of business agility to say the future is now. So any entrepreneur, any startups should take advantage of all the knowledge and experience that we gather here at the Agile Lounge and other colleagues of mine that we're gonna put network together to help you actually thrive or achieve, not to keep what you have because you're gonna have to change what you have into something astonishing and to something like a new way of management. And, uh, and we'd like to make it the most easier as possible. So as I said, all these big systems like SAFE, all those frameworks, all those project mindset, all those things focusing only on the production and the software people, that will not work anymore. You have to embar embark, for instance, your, your salespeople and they will have to rethink the way they sell. You will have to embark also everyone in the enterprise actually, everyone, okay? Agile is no more for software development. If you think like that, you won't survive to 2023 and for sure the next decade. So the, the future is now, it's business agility with conscious leadership that's made conscious agility. So I inviting you to come with us in this new journey that we start now to build the now with those three key things. Cheers. Have an happy weekend. I hope you learned something. I hope to learn something from you. So please contact with us. If you like this video, like it, share it to spark anyone else. And all together, entrepreneurs, startupers, we're gonna build this new world of love that we are waiting for. Cheers. Mm -hmm.